licensing is really not a very practical idea. Uh, I think that mostly it comes from frustration of the, the veterinarian not having, not being able to accomplish what he wants to have uh, done and not knowing what else to do. And so for the farrier to, uh, if we can get it ourselves into a position where we really understand uh, form and function, uh, and be able to talk about it, uh, and then be able to actually do what we talk about doing, that that will relieve a huge part of that, uh, that, that feeling of needing to license the farrier. That really it comes to uh, how well do we present ourselves. And it, we certainly have a lot of skills for the most part, um, but we don't have the best ability to present ourselves the way that we intend to be uh, seen. And there, there's a problem there. So I think that if we can begin to um, address those issues and then also realize that farriers, uh, the, the, the well-educated farrier is also, um, the public sees that person as it's kind of lumped into the whole of all farriers. And most of the farriers in the United States are in the, the business for less than 10 years. 10 years is not nearly enough time to become really proficient at the trade. In my, my case, probably it was 15 to 20 years experience to where I was able to really excel and do what I said that I would do. So it's experience that we need. It's, it's um, being able to present ourselves confidently, uh, being able to talk about what we need to do and do it. That those things will really, I think they'll eliminate that need to be licensed.